what we're talking about, how to take a reference track and be able to monitor in Ableton with your session. I'm gonna just load in to Ableton Ride the Wave. Let's say this is our reference track. This is the track we're working on. I have a master chain and say it's doing all kinds of stuff. Right now, both these tracks are going into the master chain. But if you have a reference track, you don't want it to go through the master chain. You wanna easily be able to go back and forth between the tracks. So what you do in this case is change master to external out and then you want to mute that track so as we're working on our song we want to reference back to the other one all you have to do is just solo that and now this will not be going through the master chain the reason i like this is because in the beginning i would load in a reference track and not know how to get it so it didn't go through the master chain so i'd put everything in a group shut down the group turn off the group so it didn't go through but with this it just completely bypasses the master chain for any of you who didn't know how to do that that's how you do it in ableton